Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I want to talk to you because it's Friday. Are you a Friday finisher? I've been listening to uh, Brendan Burchard's uh, Growth Day app for a while now, months and months. And I love that he, he, you know, he's a big, huge personal development guru. And uh, I'm more of a business mentor, right? So, but I've been doing a lot of personal development this past year, not only to lose a bunch of weight, but to just stay in the right positive mindset so that I project that every day, right? It's good to do. It's good to be a personal development junkie. Not too much so that you don't get anything done, but it's good to be and do. And what I want to talk to you about today was the concept of Friday finishers. So on Sundays, Hopefully you're setting up your week for success. You've plotted out your times that you're going to work on your business. Plus you've looked at your schedule to see where you're speaking, what podcast you might be on, where you're networking, what you have to do personally, uh, as far as your family goes, or block time for yourself through the day to ground yourself in the morning, perhaps, or do gratitude at night. Whatever that is, Sunday is the day to set up your week, right? Friday is the day to make sure you check off the things on the to-do list that you wanted to get done this week, the high level things, the things that really need to get done. And I, I'm the first to admit that I don't always get my list done. And I will show you my embarrassing to-do list. Um, here it is. <laughs> I use this fun little planner and I have some stuff crossed off on it. I actually made this to-do list I want to say this Monday, okay? And so I just keep adding to it, but I also keep crossing stuff off. And this is an unrealistic expectation to get done in a week. Let me just tell you, the things on here are going to take me longer than a week, but I like to have one running list. What you might do though, is you might take some two or three things off your big running list and put it on a little sticky note. And the sticky note is the things you want to get done that in that five day period or four day period, how many days you work. Um, and please don't over, uh, over commit yourself because then you'll feel down on yourself on Friday as to not accomplishing your goals, right? It's funny because my husband always asks me at the end of the day, are you done? Are you done with work? And I'm like, honey, I'm never done. <laughs> I'm never done with work. I have this list. I just have to prioritize which things are going to be done enough today in order to leave the office to come and join the family in the in the kitchen in the living room, right? So, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I try to get done. I, I get done with my calls usually around four o'clock Pacific. And then I need that extra hour to just finalize everything, you know, send notes to clients who I talked with or send stuff to my team, my assistants to manage stuff that needs to get done. Uh, what I love about some of my team is that they're not in the same time zone as me. And so if I send them stuff in the afternoon or the evening when I'm done with work, it's often done, like the task is done by the time I get to the office in the morning. Love that. Uh, so Friday finishers, right? Just something to think about when you're planning your week, but also when you're ending your week. Don't just leave the office and leave it all in disarray, right? I try to clean up my office and have things that I need to pay attention to on Monday in one stack. Uh, other things I file away in there. I have file folders. Yes, I do. I keep all my clients in a file folder and then I have a little, you know, filing cabinet right next to my desk so I can keep the active clients in there. I have things like bills, you know, in a drawer and all that kind of thing. So like clear the clutter on Friday, finish the things, and then make sure you get out of your head all the things that need to get looked at for the following week onto a list of some sort. Please be organized. Use your calendar. I love Google Calendar, although I went kicking and screaming years ago when my assistant tried to get me to start using Google Calendar instead of paper calendar because I loved it. But that was when I was traveling around locally and all that. But when I moved, once I got into a groove with it and I can do time blocks and I can uh, block off my calendar and now people book calls, right? And there's only certain time limits and certain days they can book calls. It's just an amazing thing. But I can't even, I don't understand that some entrepreneurs will use a calendar, but they won't always look at it. And then they're late for calls or they miss calls because they didn't look at their calendar. 
So I think if you want to be a serious entrepreneur and you really want to make a lot more money doing what you love, please get organized <laughs> with your calendar, your to-do list be a Friday finisher, be someone who really sets some goals and sets up your work week so that it's productive and profitable, please. And pay attention, pay attention to that kind of stuff so that you really do become more efficient and um, productive in your work week because that will bring you more profit. I know it was. I know it well. If you have any questions on how to do that, please reach out to me. I love to talk to entrepreneurs who might be a little scattered or overwhelmed, or maybe you have too much on your plate and you need a little help figuring out what to get off your plate, how to order of importance some of those things that are on your plate or things that you want to accomplish. And I can help you look at your big money goals and then back into what it is you need to do every week, every month in order to make that happen, make the money goal finally happen and on a consistent basis. So you can reach out to me on the website. Just go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com. You can also just sign up for a call if you go to askcat.biz. That's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. And that's, that'll take you straight to a play, page where you can tell me a little bit more about what you're doing in your business, where you're marketing, what your goals are. And that's all kept confidential. And then you'll get taken over my calendar where we can book a call. Let's do it. It's time, right?